Hello and welcome to the session. This is Professor Farhad and this session we're going to keep looking at internal control. We're going to be shifting gears a little bit and we're going to be moving into the IT control, information technology. So IT is part of internal control. Uh, but the first thing we're going to look at, we're going to look at advantages and disadvantages of using IT, information technology, computers in the system. Then eventually we're going to be looking at general control and application controls. Okay, so this is what we're going to be focusing on later. But let's talk about technology and how does technology help? Well, technology has a lot of advantages and some, and some disadvantages. So we have to keep in mind that technology could strengthen a company's system of internal control, but it also could provide some challenges. So in this session, we're going to look at the benefits and the challenges of internal control. Well, could you think of a benefit when you have IT technology? Well, think about it. How many transactions can you process a day? Well, you can process a lot of transactions. So the first thing is you can handle a large amount of complex transaction. And it's not only that, computer don't get tired. They will perform the transaction consistently the same way. So this could, this could backfire. We're going to see later on, but assuming everything is set up correctly, the computer doesn't need a break. It doesn't need to go for lunch and it could work 24 seven for that matter. For example, if you have an online store, your online store is open 24 seven. You don't have to be there. So it handles a large amount of transaction. Now, also information technology provide us with information in a time on a timely fashion. So if somebody sends you an email, an order, well, that's going to increase your order. Well, that's going to, you receive this immediately. So it provide timely information to users. Also, if you're running a supermarket, for example, if you need to know if you're running out of hamburger meat or uh, whatever product you're selling, oatmeal, okay? Now, also, if you are preparing tax return or tax returns, if, if, if you're in that business, which is I used to prepare a lot of tax return, as soon as you input the information into the tax return, the information is updated in a timely fashion. So it gives you timely information to the users. That's also a benefit. Another benefit is large volume of data. Now, yes, complex transaction, large amount, but also the data that we can generate from a computer can be large, which in turn, what does that mean? It means we can audit or at least we can analyze larger sample because if the information is computerized, we can run statistics on it. We can analyze it. And, uh, ha and when we have a larger sample, we have more confidence that the evidence that we collected is more reliable because the um, when we make a statement, the statement is more reliable because we have larger evidence. Also, the IT reduce arithmetic misstatement to zero, simply to zero. What's arithmetic misstatement? Basically taking sales times the sales tax. You want to make sure you get that, that number correct. Now, assuming the system is working properly, assuming the system is working properly, it's going it's to calculate your sales tax, your withholding, it, withholding is interesting because withholding changes maybe every year. But assuming the system is set up correctly, it's gonna compute. There's gonna be no arithmetic errors. But remember, this is a double-edged sword. What do I mean by a double-edged sword? It means if your sales tax is rather than six, it should be eight percent. For example, if you operate in the city of Philadelphia, this is where I am right now. Uh, the sales tax is eight percent. Let's assume whoever set up the system did not know that sales tax in, Pencil in Philadelphia, there's an extra 2% above the state level because the state is 6. So if they set it at 6%, guess what? All the transaction will collect only 6% sales tax on it. So the amount of the error will be extremely large if it happens. If it doesn't happen, if we set it up at 8%, it will always, always compute sales tax at 6%. Now, also, what internal what information technology does is help improve segregation of duties. Again, we're going to see this is also a double-edged sword. Okay, security controls such as passwords embedded in application databases and operating system help improve segregation of duties. Remember, segregation of duties is extreme. Segregation or separation of duties is extremely important, as we saw in, in the control environment. We're going to see again in IT. That's what, one of the fundamental of IT control: separation of duties. We'll see this in the next session, actually. So. IT does help in uh, segregation of duties, but also it could hurt segregation of duties. And we'll, we'll see, how, we'll show you how later on. 
Also, if you have IT computerized system, it improves monitoring by management via reports on account users. So if you have a good accounting information system or just simply a good information system, it's going to give you information immediately about your sales, about who's processing the sales, so on and so forth. Or sometimes the computer will improve, will uh, monitor itself. For example, it will give you exceptions report. For example, if somebody, uh, if somebody process a sale for a customer that's 90 days overdue, the system would spit out a report telling you that somebody is trying, assuming it doesn't allow it, somebody is, is trying to process a sale for an individual that's over 90 days past due. So it monitor itself. Also the server, when the server is down, it sends you some sort of a message that the server is, is down. Okay. Now also internal control is harder to circumvent if properly set up. Remember, it helped in segregation of duties. And once it's set up correctly, internal control should work. Okay. In other words, you cannot argue with the computer. The computer doesn't get tired if you're not supposed to pay a vendor without a purchase report and a receiving report, the, the system would not allow you to do so. Now, a human might allow you to do so. You'd say, well, you know, it's in the mail. You could convince the human that um, I, I have it at my desk or uh, you could just override it, just uh, simply uh, write the check without the proper report. In a computer system, the system you cannot argue with the computer. You, it's either you have them, they're generated in a computerized system, or they're not. If they're not, you cannot cut the check. So again, you're gonna see later on, this is a double-edged sword, because if the system are not set up correctly, then they can be easily easily circumvented the internal control. Now let's take a look at some challenges. And you, 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 all, we all, you, all, you already guessed some of the challenges, which is what, every time I said a double-edged sword, it means it's a challenge. Well, the errors in a computerized system, it's a systematic. Systematic means it's gonna happen again and again and again and again and again, versus random. If a human is, is calculating the sales tax or uh, for, uh, for the business, it's a good chance they might make a few errors here and there, but if the computer is doing so it's, and it's set up incorrectly, it's going to do so again and again and again. Another problem with uh, with the information technology is the physical protection of hardware, software, inappropriate use, because if somebody have access to them, it's a big problem because it's going to affect everyone, the whole company at a large scale. Sabotage, environmental damage, such as fire, heat, humidity, water flood, anything like this, it will affect your IT, which is, that's a challenge, but you, how would you manage this challenge? You would uh, protect your asset. Unauthorized access from any place in the world. Now, it's no longer the people in the building that could have access to your IT, any place in the world, as long as they can hack into your system. Uh, just recently, they hacked into the Aquafax system, nobody even know from where, or Target is another big case. Once they hack into your system, you're done. So that's another disadvantage of information technology. It's not a disadvantage, it's a challenge. Let's call it a challenge, a challenge. Loss of data, loss of data, if you lose your data, then guess what, you're in trouble, especially if you lose data that's relevant to the customers because it's not your data. What can you do? You could always do a cloud backup on a daily basis or hourly basis, depending how important is your data. Basically, you could constantly back up your data so this way you don't lose them. Another challenge in IT is lack of source of document. Guess what happened? When you are using IT, you're not using papers. When somebody book a, book a hotel or fill out an order online, there's no paperwork. There's no paperwork. It reduces the audit trail. Now the audit trail sh should be there. Even in a computerized system, you should know what time that person logged in, when, what time, from what system, so on and so forth, but it's gonna be harder sometime to do so. So there's no source document, therefore it's a it's little bit harder to audit. It's different, let's not say harder, it's different, but there's no audit trail. Another challenge is to reduce human involvement. So there's less people involved. Less people involved means less people making judgment over the information. So what happened, people tend to, they have a bias of over-reliance on computer-generated report. When someone tells you it's, this report is coming from the computer, which, oh, well, this is a, must be a good report because it's computer-generated. An, in, an individual did not prepare it, the computer prepared it, it must be good. That's a bias. That's a bias we should be aware of. That's a challenge when it comes to IT. Lack of traditional authorization. Once again, um, a, a traditional authorization means someone is reviewing and making sure everything is good before they before they authorize. In a computerized system, it's it's automatic. So if somebody forgot to reduce the credit limit that we need to use, 
then guess what? We are going to make a lot of errors because the error is systematic. It applies to everyone or to pricing. Okay. Um, for example, if we're changing prices and if we fail to change the prices, well, it's, we're going to fail to change the prices pretty much for everything or we changed it correctly. But if a human is doing it, they may pay more attention because they might be aware logically of this is maybe too expensive or too low, so on and so forth. But what you do is you remove the human, then the computer is doing the work. It could reduce separation of duties. If you have less people involved, you have less people involved, the separation of duties could be um, uh, may not be very clear. Okay, so that, that's another challenge. Again, if it's set up correctly, it should be fine. Also, your IT system is as good as the people that's working your IT system. So that's another thing. If you have a good IT system, you need people to know how to use the IT system. And we're going to see this later on, you know, who's, who's in charge of what. And the other thing with IT system, it's constant update. If you have QuickBooks, which I use QuickBooks for some small businesses, you have to upgrade QuickBooks every, maybe every two years, but it's a constant update. If you're using TurboTax, you have to update the system every, the software every year. Otherwise, last year's system is no longer useful. So that's another challenge. Not really a challenge. Yeah, well, that's a, that's a challenge. Cost, that's a challenge, yes. So those are benefits and challenges of IT. Now, the next thing we're going to look at is something very important. We're going to talk about general controls. Then we're going to talk about application controls. And I'm going to keep those as two separate sessions because they're important. And we're going to show how do they reduce information technology risk. Because you need to have controls. We talked about internal control. You remember internal control, the control environment, the control activities, information and communication, risk assessment and monitoring. Now we're dealing with IT controls, internal controls that deals with information system. If you have any questions, any comments, by all means, email me or see me in class. And if you're studying for your CPA exam, study hard. It's worth it.